I've been involved with the MHA for several years now as a board member and it's been a great opportunity to be part of one of the most important organizations in New York City servicing the mental wellness needs of people around the country. And when we looked at the opportunity to be able to provide services to the veterans that were coming back from the theater of war under tremendous stressful situations, the needs that these individuals have to support and have a network of people that can understand uh, the issues that they're dealing with and how to respond to them in a positive way serves a tremendous need for this country. That's one of the initiatives that I'm most excited about with the MHA. The veterans are our sons and daughters. They're our husbands and wives that have put their lives on the line to serve our country. And when they come back to the country, uh, we need to be able to provide them with the support and the services they need to be able to take the skills that they've learned uh, in that theater of battle and to be able to apply them into daily life. And if we can be able to provide a support network uh, for these particular needs, we can take very protective people that served in the military, uh, integrate very well into our society and serve as great citizens here. It's been amazing to see the MHA evolve from responding to crises, whether it be 9-11, then Katrina, the Gulf uh, oil spill disaster, uh, Hurricane Sandy, and now into opportunities to serve the post-traumatic stress needs of veterans. This underscores really the need to be able to focus on the issue of, uh, of mental health and to be able to provide the services that people need uh, to be able to function well uh, in society.